What's up guys? I know this is a little different and uh, basically what I'm trying to do here is just make an accumulation of everything that I've learned. Uh, I've been in business officially going on two years now and I know that's like, you know, it's an infant, it's a baby. Um, but I've learned a lot of things in those two years. Not to say that I've learned more than anyone else has, but the stuff I learned in these two years could be extremely beneficial to people who are just starting off and, and don't really know what they're doing. Um, I feel like going into these two years, I, I barely am getting a grip of what it really means to run a business and not operate as a freelancer within this creative industry. Going forward, I really just wanna talk about things I've learned, um, different mindsets that are important to have within this creative industry. Um, just, you know, things like that, just random things that come into my head. And, and today, that random thought was directing, confidence, um, and collaboration. Uh, those three things just kind of dominoed into each other because, I mean, for example, um, whenever someone approaches you, uh, asking you how much are you gonna charge me to make this video or this project, um, the reason they'll say yes over anyone else is more so what they've seen in your work. Uh, they see something in your work that they like and they want that from you. So that means you have to approach this project with a certain level of confidence. In my opinion, you have to approach it with a certain level of confidence that you're not gonna f this up. <laughs> that you know what it is they want from you and that you're confident that you can do that again for them and this project and still have your creative twist to it, right? That's important, that's why they're gonna pay you versus anyone else. Uh, you have to have that level of confidence. So when it comes to shoot day, you're finally there, you've talked about the project, you have this level of confidence um, and people start asking you questions like, should I move the lighting here? What do you, what, where do you wanna shoot? Where, what do you think is best? What do you wanna do? A lot of questions come at you real quick, you know? Um, and if you're not used to being in those, those rapid situations, um, you're gonna pick a quick answer just to seem confident. And sometimes it won't be the right answer. That's okay, you know? Um, that's where that third word comes in, collaboration. Um, you have to be open to collaborating and, and not be overconfident and say, yeah, I've got this, this is where it's gonna go, that's where it's gonna go. And that's that's because I said so. You know, you hired me because of my creativity. That's where you have to um, let that confidence s s take a backseat for a while, and then just be open to collaborating, um, being open to to sketching things in real time with whoever it is you're working, whether it be the client or maybe you you have a help a friend helping you out that day. Uh, you have to be open to collaborating, but still maintain the confidence of your final vision of what you're gonna be doing. You know, you were hired to come onto this job for a certain reason. Um, it's some kind of creative reason that no one else can do but you, right? You're really good at this thing. Um, and when someone hires you, they say, okay, you asked for a $10,000 budget, here's $10,000. Do what you say you were going to do. Now it's your time to deliver. Um, you have to walk into that shoot day with the confidence that you know exactly what it is you're here to do. You know what you need to get. And then the rest, be open to collaboration. Like, yes, there's certain times where you do have to be stubborn about your vision because maybe you've learned through trial and error that this is the best way to do it. And you have to be stubborn about that to, to uh, help whoever it is that you're working with uh, not make those same mistakes that you made. But then after that, the in-betweens, you have to be open to collaboration because you don't know it all and you're not going to know it all. Um, a lot of creativity happens by accident. A lot of the best scenes I've ever had were just good timing um, and being prepared for an accident to happen on camera. Um, so, you know, with that being said, uh, a healthy level of ego is required to actually back up what you want to deliver, a healthy amount. But once it comes to the date of filming, you have to create an environment 
before collaborating. You have to let everyone know on set that this is what we're here to do, but beyond that, or in between that, you guys are open to give any kind of constructive criticism, feedback, if you think we should move a light, dim a light, put a backlight, put a colored light, whatever it is, change up the angle, change up the lens, whatever you think you, know, you could work differently to help this story along, please, let's, let's collaborate here. And that's where a lot of magic happens. When you drop your ego and you just let accidents happen and it's creativity. <laughs> So that's pretty much it guys, there's, there's a bunch of shit I wanna keep talking about, but I think just to you know wrap up today's, um, that'll be it for today. So I hope you guys learned something um, about confidence, but not being overly confident. Yeah, it's, it's really that confusing. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe. Um, I'm definitely gonna be releasing more of these. If there's anything you guys want me to talk about, I definitely wanna talk about pricing pricing structures, how to structure your business finances as a creative entrepreneur. Um, so yeah, things like that. Just definitely let me know uh, if there's anything you want me to hit on specifically. Cool. Thank you guys for watching.